We have almost 160 or a little over 160 students that are either got their PhDs or in the pipeline to get their PhDs. The Center for Training, Research, and Educational Excellence at CSU San Marcos supports students from community college to master's programs. And what we do mostly is help students gain experience that will allow them the opportunities to go to grad school. That experience includes doing research with faculty members, attending conferences, and taking a weekly professional development class. We are a majority of first and low income students and so all these programs gave students stipends and so they that allowed them to do research in labs and allowed them then to go on to grad school because that what is what makes the difference is in your grad school application. And Four of the center's programs were federally funded through grants from the National Institutes of Health. They cut funding suddenly this spring, starting with URISE, the Undergraduate Research Initiative for Scientific Enhancement. We found out that one was cut on the end of March. Um, and then every week thereafter, we would get another termination. Um, until they all got terminated. The NIH told university officials that the terminations were due to changes in their priorities. In a notice about changes to one of the grants, the NIH wrote that its policy is, quote, not to prioritize research programs related to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Garcia says the loss of funding meant 45 students went without pay for more than a month. Nicholas Mendez is in the URISE program. He's studying psychology and biology to not be certain about what your paycheck is going to look like and uh, how long you'll get the you'll get the stipends for it's it's very intimidating because you know we all have so much to lose and we all have so much that we want to gain not for ourselves but just to give back to the community. Mendez has done research on nicotine addiction and weight loss medications and he hopes to go into drug development. He says the stipends allow him to focus on research rather than an off-campus job. Originally I worked a restaurant job and then I decided that I wanted to be more on campus because it was easier for me to kind of stay in the groove and be more productive if I was already on campus. The financial aid office found enough grants and other sources to pay students April and May stipends. Now the school is trying to fundraise so that 13 students, including Mendez, who are halfway through their two-year programs, can finish them. He says it's helped him pay for gas money and not worry about buying lunch at conferences. It really just gives me the freedom to be a a student and a researcher without having to worry about all the little nitpicky things that I might have to budget in. In the meantime, Garcia says the center will continue to provide as much support to students as they can. Katie Anastas, KPBS News.